It's a brand new week on NC Trends. I am Shion Bankoli. If education is the best legacy and lives to be exchanged in its pursuits, this and more are the questions on the placards of the students of the Federal University of Agriculture at Beokuta who have taken over social media space with the hashtag Free Our Students to protest the abduction of their colleague. Olayin Katoimbo, a 400-level student of aquaculture and fisheries management, was kidnapped alongside others yesterday by suspected gunmen in Odeda area of Ogun State, Nigeria. Reports have it that the incident happened on a private farm where he has lived and worked as a livestock farmer in the past three years. Now wait for it. The kidnappers have made a 50 million naira ransom demand for Olayinka and the other kidnapped victims and FUNAF students are not having any of it. Let's check out some of their comments on Twitter. At FUNAB underscore SUG says, Share it is until they kidnap all of us before something is done. Hashtag free our students, hashtag free Nathaniel Olayinka, hashtag free Funabite. Moving on to the next tweet, Oluadam Lola Adepojo says, If education is the best legacy, why are we to exchange our lives for it? I mean though, if education is the best legacy, why is our government opening us to threats? Nathaniel Olayinka is a 400 level student of the department of AQFM FUNAB, hashtag free our students. Finally on that, we have this tweet from Tosin who says that security of lives and properties should be the primary aim of any sane government. For how long are we going to keep living in this fear of being kidnapped? Nigerian government needs to do better at all levels. Hashtag free our students. There are reports that the electronic vaccination data system, EVDS, created to vaccinate South African health workers and citizens who are 60 years and above has not been without its fair share of hiccups. First, people got the notifications on short notice, making many of them unable to make the appointment. Then, some people were turned away because vaccinators had not been informed that they were booked for appointment. Wait, what? <laughs> and that has been blamed on a glitch in the system. Now, this has led to various reactions and questions on social media with the hashtag Vaccine Rollout SA. Let's check some reactions online. Gideon Duvin Hage, I hope I got that right, says, At Cyril Ramaphosa, hi, sir. Could you please take some time out of your schedule to address the nation? Just discuss some important stuff. It feels like you only talk to us every time the has hit the fan. Hashtag Vaccine Rollout SA. Moving on to the next tweet. Executive Mayor Randall Williams says, Just got vaccinated and I'd like to call on everyone who is eligible to register for vaccinations at this stage to please do so. Hashtag vaccine roller essay. Now that's someone who was lucky enough to get vaccinated. At Positive Vibes ZA says, The hardest paying COVID cost was the lives it took. The vaccine gives us and our leaders a stronger chance to fight the virus. Register everyone. Register everyone you know over 60 for the vaccine and help them live beyond the pandemic. Hashtag vaccine rollout essay. Finally, we move away from that to Zimbabwe, where hashtag register to vote ZW is trending to motivate youth to register to vote at the upcoming elections, reminding them that their vote counts and they should use the vote to change their lives. Let's check some tweets on that topic. Tanya Muzinda tweeted, A few successful people in the middle of millions of poor youth is not a true success story. I agree with that. It's a fraud. Youths don't need miracle money and handouts. They need a working economy where systems work for everyone. Youths fight for your own success, not for clowns. Hashtag register to vote ZW. Moving away from that, we have the tweet from CZG official who says, Let us take a few more minutes of our time and register for the 2023 elections. We are the ones that can only determine the Zimbabwe that we want. Let your choice be heard. Remember, every vote counts. Now, that's a message to every Zimbabwe and youth out there. Every vote counts. Hashtag register to vote ZW. Finally on that, we have this tweet from at Lisa underscore NQ. In the 2023 election, the youth will decide who is the next leader. We are the majority. We have the power to remove the dictator. All right. Weigh in on any of these topics and point us in the direction of new ones by tweeting at New Central TV using the hashtag NCTrends. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.